Hi traders, welcome to weekly analysis by trade with Asim and Sajjad. We will be analyzing the markets from 3rd to 7th of September this month. Let's have a look at the economic calendar. Uh, tomorrow it's holiday in US and Canada for the Labor Day, so we can expect lower volumes in the market. Uh, we have Australian data at 1.30 GMT. It can bring uh, some volatility for the Australian pairs. Uh, in the rest of the day, uh, we have some you know, medium impact news, but around 7.55 GMT, we have a German manufacturing PMI for Euro. And after that, at 8.30 GMT, we have manufacturing PMI for GBP. Both these news events can bring volatility for these pairs. And then the Tuesday will start with the bigger news event for Australian dollar, uh, RB interest rate decision. Though the forecast is unchanged, but still we can expect bigger volatility. I'm expecting around 50 to 100 pips at these times. We will post signals if you are there. Hopefully, uh, you can uh, enter the trade. Then later at 8:30 we have a construction PMI for GBP pairs, and uh, at 12:15 inflation report hearing. Very important news event for the GBP pairs. We can expect some rallies. Later at 14 GMT, we have ISM manufacturing PMI for the US dollar. Uh, we can expect some volatility for that. Then on Wednesday, again, the day will start with Australian data. At this time, GDP, a very important news event, and hopefully, we can get something around 40 to 50 pips at this uh, event. We will trade this, uh, so just be there. Later we have some medium impact news but at uh, around 8.30 GMT uh, we have services PMI for the GBP pair. Then around 14 GMT we have a Bank of Canada interest rate decision. Another good opportunity to trade this event. Normally it brings uh, 50 to 100 pips move. So we will be trading this event. Uh, hopefully you follow us. Then for FOMC member speeches uh, we can expect some volatility for the US dollar. Later on Thursday, uh, the day will again start with trade balance for the Australian uh, dollar. We have some medium impact news later on. Then at 12.15 GMT for US dollar, ADP non-form employment change, a big news event and it can uh, bring some strength to US dollar. After that, ISM non-manufacturing PMI for the US dollar, crude oil inventories. So a good day for uh, US dollar, we can see strength in the US dollar. Then on Friday, we have the biggest news event for uh, forex trading, uh, NFP. The forecast is uh, higher than the previous month and if it turns to be positive for the US dollar, we will see a very big rally in the US dollar. Uh, hopefully you know the news impact and you trade accordingly. If you have any open trades before that, make sure you have uh, put your stop losses. After that, we have for Canadian dollar employment change, uh, which is also as important as NFP for the Canadian pair. We can expect uh, some uh, rallies or a big drop in the Canadian pairs. Um, at 14 GMT, we also have uh, IV PMI for Canadian dollar. This again can um, bring some volatility for the Canadian pair. We also have FOMC uh, speech. So a very busy day in terms of news events. Make sure uh, you just uh, trade accordingly. I wish you best of luck for trading. Uh, let's move to dollar index. Dollar index was under pressure for the last three weeks, but since it bounced back from 94.45 level, it looks in good position. Uh, though it's still on a very uh, key resistance level, uh, if I can show you on the daily time frame, you will see that it has dropped from this level so many times and there are two scenarios right now this time it may just break this level and can uh, go to 96.21 otherwise it's supposed to drop from here and uh, my target for that will be 94.12 the only reason which can give boost to the US dollar is NFP uh, is as expected on Friday I'm expecting that this time it will be positive for the US dollar. So it may drop to 94.12 in the first three days of the week. And at the time of NFP release, it can uh, get a bigger spike and it can reach to 96.21. Even on the four hour time frame, you can see right now it's on a key resistance level. We might see a market going sideways for a couple of days or even it, it can just start dropping down. 
and then from uh, Wednesday evening or Thursday morning it will start going up and uh, this time I'm expecting almost 100 to 150 pips move up uh, after the NFP so just get ready and be careful with your trades we move to euro dollar euro dollar rallied in the first three days of the week it went up all the way to 1.17335 level but then from there the price got rejected and it closed in a bearish doji candle uh, at the week end right now it looks like it's heading for a smaller correction because it's at the key uh, support level uh, here you can see it has bounced back from this level so we can expect after a few hours when the market opens it can uh, bounce back from this level it will be heading to 1.1793 and once it reaches here uh, we will see again a drop from here and if NFP report is uh, positive for the US dollar then it can uh, drop to 1.1415 let's see how it looks on the daily and 4 hour time frame on the daily time frame you can see it's just heading for a smaller correction from this support level I'm expecting a bounce back it will just continue upward and then from there we can expect that uh, bigger drop it can even drop uh, below 1.1415 let's see how it looks on the four hour time frame and our four hour time frame you can see it has bounced back from this level so many times so even this time we can expect a bigger correction to 1.1793 let's move to pound dollar pound dollar looks much better than uh, euro dollar uh, it has closed in a stronger uh, bullish candle and it may just continue to 1.3218 for the first few days we might see a smaller correction uh, it can be seen at the daily time frame on the daily time frame we can see that it is just getting near to the support level I am expecting that from 1.2907 it can uh, bounce back and we will see 1.3218 from here in case of uh, positive uh, NFP for the US dollar we might see a bigger drop in uh, GBP so uh, I'm looking at uh, 1.2661 at mm, that time so we move to our dollar yen US dollar was uh, strong against Japanese yen in the first three days of the week it went up all the way but then we saw the drop in uh, USD JPY uh, at Friday evening before the day close it recovered some losses right now it looks like it's uh, getting ready to go up again I'm targeting 112.22 uh, for this week so let's see how it looks on the daily time frame you can see here it has uh, bounced back from this uh, key support level it may go sideways for a couple of days but uh, near the Thursday and Friday it can even break this uh, level and I'm looking uh, much above it can even reach to 113.00 level on the four hour time frame too it, lo it looks much stronger here you can see it just recovered uh, from uh, this level it was a 110.68 and it has formed a very strong uh, bullish candle. On Monday, we might see uh, USD JPY may open with a gap up and it can just start going up all the way. We move to dollar CAD. Dollar CAD is moving in a descending channel for the last few months, but this time it looks like it's going to break this level and it can go all the way. The reason I'm saying if you can notice that whenever a uh, dollar cat uh, rallied after a drop it uh, traveled to a specific level and if we can just uh, count the same level uh, it can go all the way to 1.3621 it will depend on the dollar strength and in the coming days the Canadian economy will also decide we have very important news events for Canadian dollars so in case we have uh, negative data then it can go all the way so I'm looking at this uh, level uh, let's see how it looks on the daily time frame and see on the daily time frame it's now making bigger uh, candlesticks and I'm looking like a break for this time it can break and then retest the previous low and then just getting ready for a bigger target I'll be happy to enter at this level if it uh, starts going up from that point let's see how it looks on the four hour time frame on the four hour uh, time frame we can see it's uh, in another descending channel and so far it hasn't broken the, the previous high 
if we can see uh, it's still below the previous uh, high so it can be a start of another drop in that case we are looking at 1.2896 uh, maybe uh, for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it can drop to this level, and from 1.2966, we might see another rally in uh, USD CAD pair. So let's move to USD CHF. USD CHF has uh, dropped a lot in last two weeks. Right now, it's uh, bearish, uh, but it's near the support level. Uh, it has uh, bounced back from this level many times, so we can uh, expect a bounce back from here. If it breaks this support level, then it's heading to 0.9276 level. But NFP can give some boost to USD CHF, and in that case, it can bounce back to 0.97811. So I'm a neutral bias on USD CHF. I'll uh, trade with the smaller targets. I will see uh, whether it can uh, hold this level. If it uh, holds 0.9574, I will be interested to buy it around 0.9574. Let's uh, watch it on a daily time frame. And you can see it's just about to complete this uh, structure. Uh, it's supposed to you know, come all the way to 0.955 area. And then from here we might see a bigger correction even on the four hour time frame four hour time frame it's uh, just uh, making a smaller uh, correction here and then it's supposed to drop all the way to 0.9574 but from Wednesday we are expecting a bigger correction let's move to the next pair Aussie dollar Aussie dollar is in a strong uh, bearish trend right now it's near a uh, key support level uh, it has almost started uh, bouncing back or it may just go a little lower to 0 0.7060 level from there it's supposed to go for a bigger correction so we are expecting uh, very strong uh, australian data in next few days so it can uh, bring uh, aussie dollar to the highest level uh, initially, I'm looking at a uh, 0.7242 level, and then it can even go higher. Let's see how it looks on the daily time frame. Here you can see. So my initial target on the daily time frame is uh, around uh, 0.7244. If the data is very strong, uh, we can even expect uh, around uh, 0.73 and above. On Thursday and Friday, it may just start uh, dropping down again, and in that case, it can drop to uh, 0.7060 and much below. In the long run, it can also be a start of a bigger uh, reversal or a bigger correction, and it can go all the way to 0.7500 and above. Uh, let's see how it looks on the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, it looks like uh, it has already started moving up, and that's the reason even the market can open with a gap up on Monday. Uh, when the market will open, we are expecting news at 1:30 GMT. So, uh, hopefully, it goes all the way. Uh, initially, I'm looking for 0.72 in the early morning, and then uh, until uh, Monday evening or Tuesday afternoon it can reach to 0.7242 well, let's move to New Zealand USD and New Zealand USD also in a bearish trend it has dropped a lot last week it dropped from uh, 0.6727 it was looking very good we were expecting that it will go all the way but it dropped but this week it can just follow Aussie dollar and it can reverse back anytime or in the first two days it may just drop to 0.6546 and then can go up or it can start going up from here and after touching 0.6763 it is supposed to drop and if this time it drops it may drop to much lower level i am looking at 0.6546 and much below let's see how it looks on the daily time frame a New Zealand USD pair looks much weaker it's supposed to drop the only reason it can go up is it can just follow Aussie USD and uh, in that uh, case I'm looking at uh, 0.6719 uh, initial retracement and it can even go to 0.6763 uh, until uh, Wednesday and from Wednesday or Thursday morning it can start dropping down and 
then it will drop all the way even on the four hour time frame it looks much weaker we can see here it, it has broken uh, the previous uh, support but early this morning uh, with the Australian uh, data it can uh, move up to 0.6664 and much above it can break this resistance level and go up for 0.6717 break uh, we move to gold gold has closed in bearish doji candle on the weekly time frame though it looks stronger earlier uh, right now it can drop to 1195 level which is a key uh, support level for gold it can even try to go back to 1214 and above but this week it can uh, be tricky uh, i will be neutral on gold uh, after nfp i'm expecting bigger drop in the gold prices so before uh, thursday uh, it may uh, try to go to 1214 level from there it can drop any time or it can, if it get, uh, breaks 12.14 level then it's heading to 12.28 uh, level but from there uh, definitely on uh, Friday it's supposed to drop and if it drops it can come to 11.80 and below let's see how it looks on a daily time frame on the daily you can see it's almost uh, going sideways uh, hasn't uh, broken the previous high so let's move to NASDAQ 100. NASDAQ 100 as usual is at the top right now it's at uh, 7671. I'm looking for uh, 7804 for the next week uh, hopefully because there is no uh, resistance level so it can go all the way. Though all uh, US stocks were down on Friday but we will see how it goes uh, from Monday to Friday. Uh, by the end of the week, I am uh, hopeful that it can touch 7804. If I, uh, it's not advisable actually to buy at the peak, but uh, you can still uh, take some risk. You can see the momentum; it's getting stronger and stronger. So, if you are buying, uh, make sure you have a tight stop loss. Let's see how it looks on the daily and four-hour time frame. On the daily, you can see on Thursday it uh, drop. It uh, looked like it will drop further to a 7585 level, but then it recovered. Right now, it looks like on Monday it can start going up all the way, or if it uh, goes for a correction, it can drop to 7562 level. On the four hour time frame, too, it looks like it has completed the uh, smaller correction. It may go again for a correction. If this time it goes, I'm looking at uh, 7585 level. I'll be happy to uh, buy from here. So guys, that's all about our weekly analysis. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you with a new video. Until then, take care and bye.